This is Duke University. My name is Arika Langele. I am the director of Friends of Lake Turkana. We're working on environmental justice, economic and social rights of communities within the Turkana Basin. We have been working initially with, with the intention of trying to stop a hydroelectric dam, which would affect about 800,000 people. But over time, the interest has increased, looking at not just access to water, looking at land, and looking at environmental governance in the region. Because we're looking at natural resources, we're looking at access to water, pasture, in especially pastoralist communities, communities who do not understand the boundary. They do not look at administrative boundaries, but look at the access to pasture and water. Then we are unable to, to leave aside the, the need for water, to leave aside the actual uh, administrative boundaries. So communities cross the borders in search of water and pasture. Access to, to water and access to pasture does not recognize borders. It just recognizes the need for people to, to access this water and pasture. We are people fighting for access to this water. There are people who are fighting to survive. At that point when you're looking for survival, you're not looking at borders. And when, when you're actually fighting for water, the water crosses the administrative borders. There is no way you can actually start to identify with the border when all you're looking for is the access to the water. When you look at it, um, human, human beings, there was no border before colonial, the colonial times. We were pastoralists moving from one place to another in search of water and pasture. Um, administrative borders were created and in the same way they were created, they can be broken down by perceptions, by needs, and by understanding between the communities. Um, this is what we are pushing for, through cultures, through song, through the need, just the needs that bring these people together. We're hoping for not just the, the, because we have been pushing for communities to be part of the discussions around natural resource governance, around access to water, around policy formulation. We're hoping that as we struggle to get communities in the national issues, in the national agenda, not just of our country, but of different countries, we hope that governments will start to recognize this and, and be able to start formulating policies and formulating laws and, and regional integration based on the community needs and recognize that while communities are working together to manage and use resources um, in an in a, in a economically and environmentally sustainable way, governments will start to recognize this and work with these communities to be able to bring the issues of the communities to the national agenda and recognize the long-term use understand the traditional institutions that communities have been using to be able to use their resources and, and actually um, put that within the national agenda. I think my, my advice to students is, in many cases, what your interest uh, goes beyond the, the where you were born, your particular area, a home area. And so you, you should not be afraid of crossing the borders. Uh, I think it's a... We are a global community and it's high time that we start to see that and appreciate the diversity that lies within us and see there's an opportunity for a global world looking at issues beyond your home region. Produced by Duke University. Online at duke.edu.